Hi, I'm Dr. Akiba Green. I want to welcome you to my thyroid recovery program website. On this website, you will find a lot of information that you can download, including different kinds of reports to find out how we are unique. Also, there's a chance for you to request a free DVD where I go into much more detail about the thyroid in our treatment program. I did this brief video to give you an introduction about what we are doing in the office and how we are unique. If you or a loved one is suffering from a thyroid condition, especially low thyroid or hypothyroid symptoms, I know how frustrating that can be. This video has new information for you to help get the care you want. When we talk about thyroid symptoms, the list can be quite long, but primarily I am talking about fatigue all the time, increase in weight gain even on a low calorie diet, morning headaches that wear off as the day progresses, depression, constipation, overly sensitive to uh, cold weather, along with that poor circulation and numbness in the hands and feet. Often your hands or feet feel very cold. Uh, muscle cramps, even while at rest. You catch colds or infections easily, but take forever to recover from them. Your wounds heal slowly. You're a slow healer. You require excessive amounts of sleep to function properly. Chronic digestive problems, some of the things we call uh, leaky gut syndrome, dysbiosis, or hypochlorhydria. That's where you actually have acid imbalances. Itchy dry skin, dry or brittle hair, or hair that falls out easily. Edema, especially in the face, it's called mixed edema. Loss uh, of hair also on the out, outer one-third portion of your eyebrows. So if you're suffering with any of these symptoms, it's very frustrating to say the least. The problem is, the only solution that medical doctors have found for you or that you have been told about is hormone replacement medication. And that is not always the best answer for your problems. As a matter of fact, if you are exploring this website here, you've probably already been given medications and you still feel lousy. You're mad, you're frustrated, and searching for a better solution. There is something else out there. I'm here to tell you that this conventional medical model, that's all they have to offer you. And by the way, that treatment also hasn't changed since it was introduced in 1950. For over 50 years, they have been treating you exactly the same. They give you these hormones and they're meant to slow down or burn out your thyroid gland. We offer something different in our office. We explore your thyroid thoroughly. For example, you need to know that all thyroid function starts in your brain, with your pituitary being told to stimulate your thyroid gland properly. I'm going to go over a couple basics. You know, when we talk about thyroid function, you know, once again, the brain sends a signal to the pituitary gland, and then the pituitary gland sends a signal to your thyroid gland through something you may have heard of, thyroid stimulating hormone, or TSH. That actually tells your thyroid to produce the thyroid hormone. Now, the thyroid gland releases two hormones, T4 and T3. The really important thing to know about this is that T4 is the inactive form of the hormone, but it's the majority of what is made by the thyroid gland. In fact, 93% of what the thyroid gland produces is T4. Only 7% is the usable form, T3. So T4 and T3 get made, but then they have to go to peripheral tissues, including primarily the liver and gut, but also the adrenals, sex organs, pancreas, and other endocrine tissues where the T4 is transformed into the active form T3. Then it can be brought into the cells and used by the body. This is very important because it means that peripheral conversion, or really what happens to the thyroid hormone after it's produced, is really, really important versus just how much thyroid hormone is being produced to begin with. Managing the thyroid is not just about focusing on the thyroid. It's about looking at all the different mechanisms and body systems that actually allow the thyroid to function and work properly. Patients come in and tell me all the time, Dr. Green, the doctor said all my lab tests were normal, but I still feel lousy. This is very common for a couple main reasons. First and foremost, most doctors don't order the right tests. Most doctors order a TSH test. We've talked about TSH. And if you're lucky, they'll also look at total T4, occasionally free T4. Compare this to a true thyroid functional test. Not just TSH, T4, and free T4, but free thyroxine index, FTI. It's the amount of how much T4 is available to convert. How about T3 uptake? It's how much T3 is taken up by the cells to get used. How about free T3? This is a very important one because this is how much uh, actual active thyroid hormone is in your body. Now, just so you know, most doctors don't run free T3 and they want to adjust your TSH levels but if you don't know what free T3 is, you don't know 
if there's conversion going on. So you could have a problem with your thyroid symptoms completely away from the thyroid gland itself, and you wouldn't know it without running that test. Reverse T3 is another test. It tells us how much uh, T3 the body can't use. And another really, really important series of tests are what we call thyroid antibodies, TPO, TBG, thyroid binding globulin, and TSH antibodies. They help point towards two big conditions, Hashimoto's and Graves. Now, I look at 10 different tests. How can you manage your health without all the information? To manage your health, you need to look at the causes of the problem, not just the symptoms. Managing symptoms with hormones doesn't get to the cause of your problem. The second major reason why patients have symptoms but the doctors don't do anything about it is most doctors don't understand the difference between lab ranges and functional optimal ranges. Most doctors use the lab reference ranges. Lab ranges are inaccurate. They use bell curves. They're based on unhealthy people. So what happens is a doctor gets results back from the lab and it shows high, low, or normal lab ranges. Those ranges are based on statistics of who went and got that test done. Well, if you've got somebody going every month to test their thyroid and they have a problem, those statistics are going to be skewed towards those unhealthy people. So if you're within that range, it's not going to really tell us if you're healthy. If you're outside of the lab range, then yes, you're definitely not where we want you to be. But there are functional lab values which are more sensitive. They reveal problems before they're seen on traditional labs. An example that I'm going to give you is, is for TSH again. We've been talking about TSH a good bit. The lab range is 0.45 to 4.5. Who wants to be so far deep into the disease process that you're outside of that range and you have all these signs and symptoms and the doctors do nothing about it? The comparison is the functional range, which is 1.8 to 3.0. So again, if you're at 1.4, you're actually abnormal even though you're within the lab range. If you're at 4.1, you're also showing an abnormal thyroid level with your TSH, but the lab range shows perfectly normal. I'm here to tell you there is something that can be done about it, and it can be done completely naturally. This website is your lifeline to getting the answers and solutions you want. There are lots of sections on this website for you to explore, so feel free to do that. On the right side of this page, there's a fill-in form for you to request our thyroid relief free report. We usually have a two to three week minimum waiting list. Uh, if, if you're a new patient and you want to come in and see with us, new thyroid patients, unfortunately, are backed up a couple weeks. But in a few minutes, you'll have an opportunity to skip ahead of the line because of your interest in our program and being on this website. I hope this video has been informative for you, and I hope to meet with you soon. Because if you want to get back to having true health, there is help out there for you. There is a better solution. And that hope is just around the corner. Thank you.